I'm going to go over something really fundamentally important for 3.0 in 2021 and honestly, even in 2020. Uh, the VR chat official documentation talks about this setting called the right defaults. Um, now, I don't understand right defaults enough to give you a in-depth comprehensive explanation uh, describing it, but I do know enough to know the ramifications and to know that you're not supposed to use it. In the VR chat documentation, it says explicitly not to use right defaults. So what a lot of tutorials out there will tell you to do when you're starting out to make your effects layer you go into the SDK folder, you go into examples three, you go to controllers and you take the hands layer, you duplicate it and you use this as the base for your effects layer. And that's fine, right? That's totally fine. But what they do also tell you is to turn on right defaults for all of this. So your facial animations will transfer over properly, right? That's not okay. Uh, right defaults is a setting that should not be on. And that's something that the VRC SDK specifically uh, prohibits in their their rules here. So it's something you can use, but uh, per their documentation, you are not supposed to. And I think for a lot of cases, this is the, this is the truth, right? So a lot of people, when they install my spring joint system, their facial animations break. And that's because my system doesn't use right defaults. And when you merge or you combine a, like uh, an avatar with right defaults on, with a system that has it off, your avatar is going to break because you can't have conflicting right defaults on, right defaults off. So what this tutorial is really going to serve as, uh, it's going to help the people who have issues with my spring joint, uh, breaking their facial animations. And it's also going to serve to show you guys that using right defaults is the wrong way to do it. And switching from right defaults off or right defaults on to right defaults off is very, very easy. And you should be doing it on your avatars. You really, really should. Um, cause I get a lot of complaints of issues with people installing my spring joint. And that all stems from the fact that people use right defaults. And again, that's specifically, um, not advised in their documentation. So I'm going to go about fixing this. So basically what people will do, um, is they'll take this layer and they'll pull their animations in, right? They'll pull all of these in and I'm just going to pull in these arbitrarily and then I'm going to uh, come back to you guys. Okay. So I went ahead and set up the animations in the layer and these animations are exact same as you've seen before, where you have the blend shapes animated on two frames, right? So without right defaults, if I go into play mode and drag my animator onto the avatar so I can test it, you're going to see if I do just right as three, you're going to see that my avatar does this face, right? And then if I do just left is three it's going to stay the same because I have the two animations are the exact same. And then if I do gesture left equals two, you get this weird effect where you have the two animations merging. And then if I set it back to zero and I set this one back to zero, the animation still gets stuck, right? Even though both of my animations are in the idle state, my face gets stuck, right? So what people do to fix this is they click on all these layers and they turn right defaults on and they do that for both the right and the left hand. Right now, if we just go ahead and reset the avatar by dragging this on, I need to reset play mode, go back into play mode, drag the animator back onto the avatar. And you're going to see with right defaults. Now it's resetting just fine. They still override each other, which is this, this is our, our logic, the way it works. But the issue is that no longer does it um, not reset? And now this is the way that a lot of people do it. Um, and it works, but it's wrong. Fundamentally, it's wrong. Because like I said, um, the VRC SDK documentation says not to use right defaults. Okay. Um, and with the more complex avatars get, and the more, um, well, the, yeah, the more complex they get, um, you're going to end up running into issues with right defaults and it's going to break stuff. And I've seen it many, many times where I get direct messages and, um, you know, people are having issues either with my spring join or with other systems and they can't figure out why they're broken. And I always say right defaults, right defaults, right defaults, right? So what I say all the time, um, and I'm getting kind of tired of saying it. So I really wanted to make this video to show people not to use right defaults and how to fix it. So to fix it the easiest way possible 
you want to turn off red defaults on absolutely everything on your entire avatar, right? So you go in all the animations and this box here in the inspector, check off red defaults. So make sure that's off everywhere, all of your avatars layers everywhere. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to add an animator layer on top, call it the reset layer. I'm going to add it all the way at the top, right underneath all parts. And I'm going to go back into play mode so I can add the animation. I'm going to take the hands layer and drag it back on. So take your effects layer and drag it back on. So that way you can animate properly. You want to go to animation. You want to create a new clip and then go wherever. Um, and you want to call this one the reset. Okay. And now what you want to do is you want to go to record and you want to click on your body mesh or whatever your facial expressions are on. Make sure this is all selected. looks good. You go to add property. And then you go to your body mesh. Ignore all of the meshes I have on this. This is a testing avatar, so I have an insane amount. Um, and then scroll down to where you see blend shape. Okay. You want to click on the first blend shape. You want to scroll all the way down until you see VRC dot. And you want to hold shift and click on the last shape key right above VRC dot. Do not click any of the ones that say VRC dot on it. If you do, your avatar will no longer blink. It will no longer move its mouth and your visemes, like I, like I said, all your visemes will be broken, okay? So you wanna select all these by clicking on the top one, scrolling all the way down, holding shift and clicking on the last one. And you wanna right click and add properties. It's gonna take a second. And now it's gonna add these from zero to one second. You wanna take this one second mark and drag it all the way back to one frame. So you have this two frame animation, right? You wanna go back into your animator you want to go into that reset animation. You want to grab the animation you just made and set it here and then turn off right defaults. Okay. Now, whenever I do gesture right equals three, this is my smirk face. And now if I do gesture right equals two, you can see it resets and it doesn't overlap each other. And then if I go back to zero, it resets back to zero. Okay. This is how easy it is to turn off right defaults on your face layer because the biggest issue with turning off right defaults is your face breaks because of the way a lot of people do their animations. So if you create this reset animation and you set it up like this, it should all work. And you need to do one more step because you have this idle block here. You need to put something in here because if you have an empty animation block, it's going to break. And right now I have proxy hands idle, which is the default if you duplicate the hands layer. So what you need to do is you need to create an empty animation that does absolutely nothing, right? because you can't have an empty animation block. There needs to be something in there, okay? So the easiest way I found to do that is to make sure you're in play mode so you don't break stuff. Create a new clip, call this uh, probably idle, and then you hit uh, hit record, and you go to you know any mesh or whatever you want, it doesn't matter, click on the mesh and, un and then hide it, right? And then you can unhide it if you want. It really doesn't matter because we're not even modifying that. And then you want to click on the um, object here that was just created because you uncheck something. You want to hit F2 to rename it. And you want to type something that doesn't exist. So I like to do invalid because that does not exist. And then it's going to turn yellow. This is important, right? We want this animation to serve only, like the only purpose this animation serves is to make sure you don't have an empty animation block, okay? This doesn't do anything. It's not supposed to. This is supposed to be in yellow because you don't want it to do anything on your avatar. You just want to make it a placeholder, right? And then you go to your idle animation and you drag the idle that you just made into here. And then you take the other idle and drag it into here as well. And now your facial animations are fixed. This is how you fix the facial animations with right defaults off. Now, there's one more thing. Um, your gesture layer has right defaults on. Okay. And these right defaults off animations on your, uh, FX layer will mess with those gestures in your gesture layer. So if you have a gesture layer, this is what you need to do to fix that. Okay. You need to go into your hierarchy. You need to right click, create avatar mask. Okay. And then rename it empty or something idle. doesn't matter. And then you go into humanoid and you go into transform. And you want to uncheck everything here in humanoid, okay? Make sure everything is unchecked. All these IK, everything is red. And then you want to do use skeleton from. And you want to find your avatar. For me, it's Jamie too. 
find your avatar, use skeleton from, import skeleton, and then you want to do toggle all. So all of these should be off and all of this should be red. And now you have your empty, um, your empty avatar mask. And then you want to go into all the layers on your entire effects layer that use right defaults off. You want to click on the gear. You want to drag your empty into there. Actually, you click on the gear. You click on the little circle next to mask and find your empty. And you click that and make sure the mask is empty. And you want to do that for this one. And you want to do that for this one. And you want to do this for every single layer that has right defaults off. Okay. All of these steps are very important. Don't skip any of them. Just like 3.0 is in general, the setup for this is more difficult than, you know, the rest of everything, right? 3.0 is, is, seems a lot like, uh, seems daunting because the setup is so confusing a lot of the time. But that's the thing. It's just a difficult setup. Once you've done this once also, you're never going to have to do it again because you've already done it. You can just copy and paste this from avatar to avatar. So anyway, I hope this helps you guys. Um, I know I've got a lot of, uh, I know I get a lot of questions about this. So um, if you have any other questions or any other issues with this method or, or the system or anything like that, just message me. Um, my discord is the exact same as this YouTube channel. And my Discord server will be linked in the description here. So anyway, take care, guys.